Item number SCP-4814, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures, the area around SCP-4814-1-9 through have been surrounded with vegetation and tall trees for the purposes of low maintenance and inconspicuous concealment. A two meter tall electrified fence has been erected round the orchard and farmhouse designated as Professional Site 309 to deter unwanted entry from civilians and wild animals. Trespassers that bypass this measure are to be subdued non-lethally and questioned before routine release procedures are enacted. A patrol team of four are to be stationed at Professional Site 309 to aid in these tasks. SCP-4814 are to be fed a 4,000 calorie diet daily. They are to be given basic amenities and care, such as warm dressing during cold outdoor temperatures and weekly wellness evaluations. Note, a complete list of all necessary duties can be found in document 4814-2. A medical and personal health team of six are to be stationed at Professional Site 309 to aid in these tasks. Description SCP-4814 is a collective designation for nine trees, designated as SCP-4814-1-9 through nine, that are biologically similar to standard human women in all manners except form, which is approximately 2 meters in diameter and 6 meters tall. Radiography confirms the presence of functioning human organs, some instances possessing multiples of each. Each instance has varying skin tones, eye colors, and hair colors. Orifices can be found in axis, and on different parts of the body. Mouths and anuses tend to be along the trunk, while nostrils, ear canals, and genitalia are found along the branches. SCP-4814 are unable to speak despite possessing the necessary organs. SCP-4814 respond to outside stimulus and are capable of slight movement. They are able to twist their trunks and stretch their branches with little stress, though they cannot uproot themselves or swing their limbs. Testing has shown that attempts to do so are incredibly painful, as exhibited by groaning, bruising, and hyperventilation. Discovery On September 1st, 2019, Foundation agents tailed a cargo van that had acted as a delivery vehicle for an Ampost restaurant steakhouse in Chicago, Illinois, for the dual purpose of tracking the supplier and inhibiting the business location's ability to serve. In doing so, five locations were discovered to be involved in distribution of anomalous goods, including the farm housing SCP-4814. All suppliers are detained, and the facility seized by the Foundation. Investigation of the premise revealed that Owen Maxson, owner and caretaker of SCP-4814, supplied several foodstuffs to the Ambrose location. After a brief background check, it became clear that Mr. Maxson is a certified butcher. A letter was found within Mr. Maxson's P.O. box, sent from an Ambrose staff member, the contents of which has been documented below. Owen, to put it frankly, we are putting an end to this partnership. Needless to say, the quality of your supply has been degrading. It is not because of its physical quality per se. The meat is firm and juicy and by all means edible. It is much deeper than that. The problem lies within what's left after the butchering. Our Chicago location prides itself on its flavors of the soul selections, and the residual soul of this meat is tainted and dark and malicious. Likely an attribute of the father. No offense. Killing them was the best choice. Putting them in the mouths of patrons should not have been an option. I recommend seeking professional help, Owen. This was a mistake, and a line that shouldn't have been crossed. Those women have it hard enough. Regards, Say to Jameson. Addendum. December 9th, 2019. SCP-4814, 1, 3, 5, and 6 have recently become visibly engorged in their lowest branches. Similarly, SCP-4814-2 and 4 had formed large lumps along their trunks. These newfound abnormalities 
in addition to previous symptoms of nausea and menstrual spotting, confirms that SCP-4814-1-6 through are pregnant. Care for the objects is to be adjusted until all instances have given birth. Any further action is to be left to the discretion of the medical team stationed at Professional Site 309.